Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Shepard doesn't seem to get that. You know, it's not about Cerberus, Shepard. It's about you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here with yet another episode. So, we have completed the Elusive Man's dossiers and collected everyone that Cerberus is aware of to our task force to take down the Collectors. There is, however, one more member that we have yet to discover. But, it is now time to reconnect and talk to the crew. All right, let's start over Thane here. would like to speak with you, Commander. Thane, already. Can you believe this, people? He's barely been on board the ship. And he already wants to talk to us. Let's see, where is he? Crew quarters. So let's go down here and see what he wants to talk about. And I believe this is going to be a short episode because um, we don't have a lot of people to talk to. But we may want to touch base with some of our uh, long-standing crew as well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. See how Shepard feels. Okay. Where women's restroom alright cause some um, crew quarters life support I think this is where he is yes sir Thane Shepard I mentioned when we met on Ilion that I was dying yes, it's called Kendrill Syndrome it's not communicable but I have less than a year to live Wow. Go on. Is that what you called me here for? I wasn't worried about it. No. But as I face the end of my body's time here, I find myself dwelling on my mistakes. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Let's see what he means by... Had... A family. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Mm. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. Wow, okay. Uh, let's ask about last meeting. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. Mm. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. Dance crazy? What sort of dance is that? It's... Oh. I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Okay. Um, get on with it. All right, you spawn. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. Hmm. So I think those flashes, it's some sort of ability, I believe, that all Drell have, that they can relive moments from their past. This is just coming off the top of my head from what I remember. I could be wrong, but I think that's what that was all about. All right, so let's ask he's become what? 
You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Okay, spare me the metaphysics. Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel and has gained a job as a hitman. Mm. I could discover no more. Like father, like son. All right. If we have time... Wait, is there more investigation? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, let's ask about the Citadel. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. Why me? Bane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lines. Waited it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I'm surprised that Shepard is not reacting to this. Okay, anyhow. Uh, let's ask about the hitman. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. All right, well, he could have asked for it. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. Because it's your job? To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. All right, I think we're completed here, if we have time. When there's a chance, we'll stop at the Citadel. But more than one person will die if we don't stop the Collectors. Yes, of course. I'll be meditating until you need me. All right, so we have instruction now to go to the Citadel. And we got two Renegade. I'm trying to get the Renegade bar filled up. Um, let's talk a little bit more. He may have some upgrades for us. Shepard, is there time to visit the Citadel? Uh, maybe not. What did you need again? What exactly is your son doing? Colyet has gone to the Citadel. I don't know where exactly, but I do know he's contacted the criminal elements of the station. Alright, well apparently Thane... Shepard. Does you not have visit the Citadel yet. Okay. Not yet. I shall return to my meditations. You do that. I thought maybe you had something to offer me. All right, and it could be because we missed out on some initial conversation when he was first brought on board the ship. But anyhow, we'll check back with him again later. Let's go in here and talk to one of my favorite uh, crew members. I think we're in the right spot. Oh, this is Kasumi. Sorry, wrong spot. What do you have to say, Kasumi? People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I bet you do. What have we got over here? Look at all this stuff. A rose? The red rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It hmm. wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. And here's a statue. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, packed the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Oh, and a painting too? That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. 
She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. I really wish Kasumi could have had a bigger role in uh, Mass Effect 3. Alright, what about these books? Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. All right, so I think we're in the wrong observation port on the wrong side of the, the ship. Oh, I can pour some liquor? Well, not right now. So, if we go to the other end of the hallway, the starboard observation deck. Yes, there she is, Samara. All right, let's just get right to the upgrades. Shepard. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Absolutely. I've been waiting for this upgrade for quite some time. Show me what it would take. All right, I think this should be ship enhancement. Yes, extended fuel cells. There we go. Helios thruster module, all right. Okay, so now we can go further. Somebody has to offer us some probes, though. I'm wondering if that was Thane. Uh, let's go with the let's Shepherd. talk. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If hmm. you are patient, I would love to talk. <laughs> okay. Let's ask about Cerberus. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Hmm, but you're with Cerberus now. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Shepard doesn't seem to get that. You know, it's not about Cerberus, Shepard. It's about you. All right, let's ask about her investigation. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. Uh, but it could affect the mission. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. Let's talk about the mission. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. Hmm, you're not curious? You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? She has a very good point, people. Very good point. All right. I think that's it. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. All right. I'm sure we'll be back here soon. Wow, who gives us the probes? I, oh, I can't remember. Okay, let's go. We haven't talked to Miranda in a while. Now that she's dressed in her cat suit, let's see if she might have something different to say. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket. I'm glad I got to take him out myself. <laughs> uh, let's ask about Oriana. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? 
She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me. Which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. Hmm. Let's ask what she thinks of Oriana. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. Hmm, you could talk to her. You know where she is. You can get in touch if you change your mind. It would be a mistake. I'd be risking her safety for my own selfish reasons. No better than my father. It was never a temptation until I saw her. I'll just have to keep my distance. All right, well, he's glad that he could help. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Oh no, not Paragon. Yeah, so... Oriana is only as safe as far as Mass Effect 2. Unfortunately, in Mass Effect 3, things uh, get ugly. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, let's see. Don't need to talk to Garrus. I guess... Um, and we have missions from everyone else that we need to complete before we get more conversation from them. Let's just go and check in with Jacob since we completed his loyalty mission. Jacob? Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. Well, it's Jacob... Over. I don't hate to break it to you, but the only reason we went to the Gurns back is so that I could get your barrier power. All right, um, is there anything else? There aren't any more upgrades, are there? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. All right, so I want to talk about you. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Okay, then goodbye. We'll talk later. Commander. All right, so we're probably squared away with him for the rest of the game. Um, gee, folks, I think this is it. Oh, let's talk to Kelly. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Let's Do you chat. have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Ah, uh, there's there's nothing here to really. I better go. Okay. Talk about. Maybe we'll talk later. Yeah. I don't. There there is a way that you can. Um, I don't know, like pick up lines or something that somehow she will end up in your cabin. Uh, I've probably messed this up from the very start where I wanted to be formal with her and, you know, call her Yeoman Chambers or whatever rather than Kelly. So those options are probably gone at this point. But, you know, hey, you can't fault a guy for trying. All right, let's see what we have at the private terminal unread messages oh you changed my life one message yay all right greetings commander shepherd liara tassoni gave me your contact information i was one of the cleaning crew in the dantius towers yes you helped me get out of there according to tassoni how about liara you found <laughs> you also found thane he took down some of the eclipse mercs trying to gun us down and i wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved. One was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third. All in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. 
he moved like a dancer. Grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life. Woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. But Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty. That aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. So, if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts that you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. Sincerely, Jeert? Jeert. I'm going with Jeert. All right. So, that's that's my dramatic reading for the evening. And this is going to conclude the episode. So, in our next episode, we are going to continue on with loyalty quests. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>